everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new DC Comics Icon 6 inch static figure from DC Collectibles. Now, this figure is based on one of the characters from the DC Comics Milestone series. It comes packaged in a window box, similar to what we see with all the icons. You've got the figure clearly displayed. You've got the icons logo down below with Static's name in the O off to the side. You've got the name of the character, and it tells us this is figure number 17 in the series. And then on the other side of the packaging, it tells us the figure is based on the storyline called You Don't Start None, There Won't Be None. And then on the back of the packaging, we have a look at figures that have already been released. The Joker, the Jon Stewart, Green Lantern, Firestorm, and now Static. And then down below, it tells us that the figure was designed by Ivan Reyes and sculpted by Amos Hemsley. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. Now, first of all, let me just say a big thanks to the folks at DC Collectibles for sending this figure out to me so I could review it for you guys. Also, you do get a little instruction sheet that shows you how to work all the accessories with the figure and other figures that were recently released like Swamp Thing. And on the other side, you can see Wonder Woman and Deathstroke. For accessories, we get this manhole cover. In the comics, you'll see him a lot of times fly around on a manhole cover. So this is to kind of mimic that. And pretty nice detailing says Dakota on it. And it's kind of done with a bronze metallic type color. On the other side, it's just uh, smooth. And then also they've given you this translucent electricity stand. So how this works is basically you've got this little peg on the manhole cover and you just set the uh, manhole cover on the electricity and then you can stand the figure on it. You just plug the manhole cover into one of the pegs on the bottom of the feet of the figure and then you just set it on top there. So it looks like he's floating around using his powers with the manhole cover. So that's pretty cool that they've included that. We also get two different head sculpts with this figure. So we get a head sculpt that's got the mask without the baseball cap. Though normally in the comics you would see him with the baseball cap. So that's what the second head is. And so I like this one a little bit better. Again, I think this is more true to how he would look in the comics with the cap and everything. And the cap is just black with a white X on the front. And the face sculpts on both are pretty decent, so no complaints there. And then it's just got the metallic blue for the mask. For the figure itself, I think they've done a good job of capturing the look of the character from the comic books. Now, he has had multiple looks and has been in cartoons. This isn't really how he looked in the cartoon, but definitely I like this look for the character. And I like how they've used this dark metallic blue throughout most of the figure. I like how it picks up the light. And then he's got these gold metallic wristbands. And then this white striping that looks like electricity that goes down his body um, all the way down his left leg. So again, I think that looks pretty good. Solid paint applications, no real sloppiness, at least nothing of major note. And again, I think they've done a good job of capturing the look from, of the character from the comic books. So this figure stands just a little bit over five and a half inches tall. And here's a comparison with the Icons Blue Beetle figure and the more recent Rebirth Justice League Flash figure. For articulation, he can turn the head to the left and to the right. He can actually look down pretty good. Can't really look back. You end up pulling it off the ball joint if you have him look back, but he can look straight ahead. And then the arms attach with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder. So he can get his arm out good. He's got good rotation. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a double hinged elbow. So good bending there at the elbow. He's got swivels at the wrist and hinges on the hands. So good up and down movement there with the hands. He's got a midsection joint. So he's got rotation there at the midsection. You can kind of pivot to the left and to the right there. Can't really crunch down too much there at the midsection. Can look back a little bit. But then he does have an ab crunch joint. So he can crunch forward about that much. And then he can look back about that much. He doesn't have a waist swivel. Legs are attached with ball joints, so he can do the splits good. You can pull the leg out from the joint a little bit, and then he can get his leg forward really good. And you can do the leg. Can't really do the leg back on this one with the way the butt's sculpted, so that's really about as far back as you can get the leg. You do have a little bit of rotation up high there with that ball joint. Not a true thigh swivel, but you do have some rotation there. And then you've got a double hinge knee, so good bending at the knee. You have a boot cuff swivel, hinges on the feet, so good up and down movement. And then you do have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. 
Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I like this figure. I think it's a nice looking figure, decent articulation. I like the paint applications. And while it's a little disappointing, we didn't get all the accessories that were originally uh, listed with this figure, especially like the electricity firing hand. That would have been a nice addition. But still, I'm glad we got the flying manhole cover. I do like that accessory. And again, overall, I think this is a nice figure. And if you're a fan of the character, I think this is one you'll definitely want to add to your collection. Now, this figure is hitting comic and specialty shops now. We'll have a full image gallery up at toynewseye.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.